Hi, I'm Li Hao. So in the last video, we talked about how we implement uh, use viewports. And this video, we're going to talk about how we can use that and to implement a use lazy image. Basically, it's an action that allows you to lazily load your image only when the image is within the viewport. That's why we're going to use the use viewports over here. So let's take a look at the code. So this is uh, continuing what we had done so far. We, has, we have a H1 that has used viewports. And if you scroll, you'll see that when it's enter, it's it will console out con enter. And when it exits, you will say exit, right? So I'm going to reuse this. Uh, I'm going to firstly create an action called use uh, gonna lazy image action. So action is nothing but a function. I'm going to say lazy image uh, default. That takes in parameter, which is element, and optionally params. If you provide, if you're allow, allowing people to provide parameters to the action, and okay, so this is your action, and we import this. Okay, import lazy image from lazy image over here, and we are going to use our lazy image action to replace this H1. So I'm gonna have an image tag. I'm going to say uh, use lazy image and I'm going to remove this. So now I need an image. Okay, alt tag. I'm going to say uh, lazy image demo. I need an image. So um, let's see. Let's probably let's steal this image over here. I'm going to inspect and it says, oh, hold on. Says a uh, background image. Gonna copy this over here. Um, so let's collapse this. So we're gonna use source equals to svelte dot dev slash svelte logo dot horizontal svg. Probably needs to add the https over here. So if I scroll this, you will see that the image is already in the screen. And if I inspect the elements and take a look at the network tab, so let's clear everything. Let's let's collapse everything unused. Let's only focus on the image tag, filter with SVG. Um, let's refresh. And I see that the image is loaded immediately. And if I scroll up and I refresh, you can see that the image is still loaded immediately. Right. Immediately. And what we want to do here is that we want to prevent this. We want to we want the image to only load when we scroll until we see the image is within a viewport. So what we can do here is that instead of using the source attribute, which will let the browser to load the image immediately, what we can do is we can rename it to data source, right? So. Um, it's just like random other attributes, but over here I just use I uh, use the data attributes, custom data attributes here. Uh, it can be data dash anything that you like, but I'm gonna just call it data source. So if I refresh this again, you'll see that the image is not loaded, which is good. And if you scroll down, you see that the image is not showing, uh, it's not loading. So what are we gonna do? So let's come back to lazy image action and let's try and implement this. So uh, we have implemented um, a use viewport action that uses intersection observer to know whether the element is entering or removing, uh, leaving the screen. So why not reuse this logic over here? And reuse this, actually we can reuse the action itself. So action is nothing, again, is nothing but a function that takes in an element and optionally and params and it could return us an object like destroy with a destroy method or updates method. So to use an action outside of uh, Svelte, what you can do here is you can um, call it yourself. So let's see, let's import viewports from use viewports action. Uh, what I mean is that you can call this viewport action. I'm gonna rename this. Your own, right? You can do that. Um, you can do this, and it it should work because it's nothing but a function. 
and it returns us um okay let's say uh action methods uh, viewport action methods it returns us an object and this object has a destroy and update methods so if we are going to destroy this elements which will call the destroy method of this lazy image we should also call the destroy of the inner action as well so that is what i'm going to do now let us come here and destroy i'm going to call viewport action methods dot destroy as well all right so this will clean up whatever we call set up when we call the action right so if 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 you have something like an update and it's relevant to your action then probably you can also call like dot par uh, update with the new params right so probably over here you have a params and you can pass it in and if you something updated you can call updates method of that uh, viewport action methods as well but in our case we don't have it uh, our viewport actions does not take any params does not return us any updates uh, so we're gonna remove this uh, remove this revert this okay right so once we use the viewport action remember what happens you have two new custom events right the enter viewport and exit viewports and what we're going to focus now is just the enter viewport because when we enter the viewport we want to load the image so uh, we can elements dot add event listener call enter viewports and then we're going to have enter viewport uh, event listener right and every time when you add an event listeners in your action you need to remember to remove events listener over here. Okay, so let's see. And the viewport not defined. So let's define enter viewports. Okay, so what are we going to do when we enter the viewports? Right? Um, over here, the element is an image tag, and we can get the source of the image uh, that is supposed to be the actual source in the data source. Right, so we can basically get elements.datasets.source, which is this the value over here. And what we do we can do is we're gonna set the source of the image to this value. Right? So when we enter, we're gonna set it to to this value. Right? So let's let's refresh this. Let's clean this. Come over here. Let's uh, do a refresh. Okay, you can see that there's no image being loaded. And when I scroll, and as soon as the image comes into viewports, you see that it's being loaded. And the image is being downloaded. You can see it. It's reflected in the network tab. And why is it two entries over here? Well, it's basically because one, uh, let's see. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but I think that's besides the point. So, uh for here um let's see one thing we need to do also once our image is loaded we probably wouldn't want to kind of load the image again uh, so what we can do over here is also to remove event listener uh, over here so once it's done we can remove the enter viewports listener so we don't care about whether it's entering viewports anymore. And yeah, that's, that's about it. That's how you would implement a lazy image using a viewport action, right? So what you have learned so far is you can use an action to compose an action within another action, right? So if you have multiple actions and probably you can use that to compose it, right? So here you have it, lazy image using actions. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have anything that you want to discuss or ask about, comment down below. And as always, remember to subscribe to my channel so the next video is out, you will be the one to know about it. So see ya, bye bye. Okay.